When I was a student, I had a wristwatch which would run automatically without the need for a battery or daily winding of the clockwork. I think I still have it somewhere in my almara as an antique item. There was a mechanism inside which would keep it running by getting mechanical energy from hand movements. But if you keep in the shelf for over one day or so, it will stop functioning. Similar mechanisms for energy harvesting have been experimented for pacemakers. Currently, the limiting factor for pacemakers is the battery life which necessitates device replacement after a finite period of time. Though nuclear pacemakers were tried some time back for very long battery life, we don't hear of them anymore. The picture shows the energy harvesting mechanism for an endocardial leadless pacemaker prototype which was tested in a porcine model. One attempt to develop a heartbeat driven lead and batteryless pacemaker from Switzerland was published in 2017. Energy harvesting mechanism of an automatic clockwork was used after removing the parts meant for indicating time and date. Myocardial contraction provided the energy source in the form of mechanical motion. Dedicated electronic system was developed to process and store the energy. Of the total 1.4 watt energy of the heart, only about 80 microwatts was processed and used to power the electronic circuitry of the pacemaker. The prototype pacemaker provided fixed rate pacing at 120 per minute with a pulse width of 0.5 milliseconds and pacing amplitude of 3 volts. In a porcine model, the device was directly sutured over the left ventricle. The device had a diameter of 27 mm and height of 8 mm. Another paper published in 2019 used an elastic skeleton and two piezoelectric composites which could generate high output current of 15 microamperes in a porcine model for powering a modern fully functional pacemaker. That was also by harvesting the natural energy of the heartbeat without using any external energy source. Miniaturized endocardial electromagnetic energy harvester has also been tested for leadless pacemakers.